the natural resources that the people live off of. And we can do these and we must do them periodically so that they work together, they move together. Uh, that's going to be my push, that's our push. Uh, it's one that we need to be able to get done, and I think we can. I want to salute uh, David Barron. Uh, this is my last term in the United States Senate. Uh, this guy has been the go-to guy on these issues. And what I like about it, uh, he under-promises and over-delivers. Uh, which is a good thing, and not pretty unusual in this town. Uh, but he gets it done, and I really appreciate his work and everything. God bless you all.
its natural resources, and a strong civil society working together to help revitalize the community of lowland gorillas in the Congo Basin. An expanding global population, rapid conversion of critical habitat to other uses, poses, as you well know, a serious threat to the world's natural resources and wildlife. Impoverished ecosystems, disappearance of species at an alarming rate are taking a global toll. We know conserving and managing biodiversity and forests is everyone's interest, maybe not everyone. <laughs> Environmental concerns are a critical aspect of the United States foreign policy, and as you well know, I've been a strong supporter of the coaching from my friend Senator Goodall of biodiversity planning and programs that protect endangered species. I was very pleased. You know, it's nice to be the chairwoman because of the opportunity to put the dollars where they belong. And we included $1.2 billion in funding for environmental protection in the 2010 bill. So I'm very pleased.